not gonna fight. Your love is like a landslide. Your love is like a landslide. Bringing everything good, everything right, everything pure. I'm not gonna fight. Your love is like a landslide. Your love is like a landslide. Take me out of my head, out of my mind, into my heart. I'm not gonna fight. Your love is like a landslide. Your love is like a landslide. You have met me with your presence. I will never be the same. You know how to close the distance I made. your love in the valley and your grace still surrounds me you've been good to me god you've been good to me I've seen Sorry, I forgot. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? It is time for Cafe Revival. Man, good morning. Good morning. We are Data Life Church, and this is Cafe Revival broadcast. I hope you guys are all doing well. Yeah. Because I think I am. It's actually a little warmer today, so it's kind of nice. A little bit warmer, yeah. Yeah, we don't have the fringing cold weather. 
Uh, I would say freaking, but it's French. <laughs> hey, Julie, blessings to you. Thanks for joining us. Daniel Nurse, come on. Blessings Good to morning. this man of God. Yes. You guys want to go check him out. He is doing some amazing stuff there. Hey, Robert Stevenson, it's so good. Yes. I asked, we are staying warmer than yesterday. That's for sure. Yeah. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Blessings to you. Hey, Alex Kuhn. 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 Good Kuhn. morning, Kuhn. Alex. Blessings yes. to you. Blessings to you. Hallelujah. Working and listening. That's a good idea. Good idea. Listen yeah. well, because there's going to be something great happening today. You won't be listening for too long. You're going to start watching once you see the anointing <laughs> happening. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, man. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Lise. Good. How are you today? Blessings to you. And Peters, our prayer team member, is oh, on as well. Yes. Good morning. Good morning to Anna. And who else is watching with you? Come on, guys. Leah, it's good to have you here. Blessings to you. It is so good to greet you all this morning. Can you guys share the video and share the broadcast? Can you like our video for me? Can you like someone else's comment if they're good comments? Mm -hmm. Can you reply to someone and say, hey, I'm here? Or can you just like your own comment or something? Let's just get it rolling out there. Let's grow the platform. Let's see God's blessing Amen. roll through the world, basically. Amen. And Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Yes, Laura is here. Laura, blessings to you. Laura Lou, good Laura Lou come on. It's so good to have you here. Nice. Short and sweet. <laughs> yeah, amen, amen. Love it. Yeah, Amy. Amy, somebody's tagging Amy. Yeah, Amy, yeah. come on, jump on, Amy. Morning, Mary Cobb. Mary Cobb. I've seen some pictures of her. She's just amazing. Yeah. I, I see that anointing on her face mm. and that joy of the Lord on her. Hey, Anne, it's so good to have you here. Blessings to you. Good morning. Love seeing you here every day. Guys, remember, I'm going to announce it again at the end, but remember, DLC Global is launching February 1st. That's you next want, Monday. That's next Monday at 12 o'clock Central Time. Yeah. And you want to join that, you make sure you let us know. And if you are on the DLC Global page now, it's DLC Global Family now. I change it to Global Family. Mm -hmm. And um, if you can comment on my comment there, that'd be awesome. I have a comment asking you who's all showing up. Go on there and take a look at it. Yeah. And... Um, just a reminder that we don't ex approve anything that's not of this church on there. This that that page is strictly, strictly to connect to DLC and to connect together. So if you yeah. say something or you greet DLC on there, then we'll approve it. But we won't approve just any broadcasting on there or comments or your own preaching. We won't do that. We just really want a page where it's not fluttered. And we want a page where we can just communicate with you guys. That's what that is for. Amen. 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 So it's not against anybody. It's just simply we want to have a place where we can communicate without interruption. Hey, Norma, it's blessings hey, to good you. Good morning, Norma. Come on, hallelujah. Keith, Keith is here. Blessings to you. I've got the coffee. <laughs> I got you the coffee. bring the revival. That's right. That's it. I'll bring the revival. I got the coffee too, man. Yeah. Got some coffee going. Yes, I got. Awesome. Awesome. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've got it. Not if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you are you new? I am new. Who's new here? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. If you guys are watching from any other page, go to Dear Life Church page. That's where all the excitement happens. Yes. And um so don't worry about it. Oh, look, I've got my bling on. Yeah, you get the bling on. Hey, look at that, guys. Yes. Take a close look. That's what she got <laughs> from Ronald and Kelly Norwood. Yeah. Kelly does blessings and bling. bling. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Jewelry. Yeah. And I just so ordered a package. Looks so good on the black. Eh? Yeah. I love it. Awesome. You changed. I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing a different shirt this morning and I just thought this would just sit so nicely on the black. So hey, man. I... hey, Emirates. It's good to have you here. Hey, Johanna. It's Helena good Johanna. Morning. It's always good to see you. Good morning and good evening to you, I guess. the other side Sorry. of this earth. Woo That's right. Come on. <laughs> Blessings to you. Hallelujah. Love you guys. Kathy Kelly, of course, she is like, I, yes. I'm, I'm almost accepting her as my mother already. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so, Amen. I love having mothers in the in the faith. Yeah. Yes. In the faith, in the church. She's yeah. part of our church now. Yeah. But um, I love it. Like her and Norma, it's like, I love it that they're here, that they're yeah. still passionate for God and that they're praying. You know, that just spurs uh, me on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. And let's see who else we have here. We have that. If you are new here, let me know if you're watching. Come on, guys. Let's get that uh, pretty bling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so come on, guys. Go ahead and share it. Share it. Amen. And um, thank you, Kathy. And uh, share the <laughs> broadcast and tag somebody. Maybe somebody can 
Taggart, like Nick Sear and uh, Kathy McCartney, Pookie, all those kind of people. I don't have the ability right now because I'm talking. But if you guys can tag some people, let's get it out here. Um, let's see what God is going to do today. It's going to be a powerful time in Jesus' oh, mighty yeah. name. And um, we are excited about today. So it's so good to see you all here. Yes. I hope you, you guys are doing well um, because, you know, the, everybody's going through things. But I, I believe God is in it all. And we're all going through battles. We're all going to fight for a victory of some sort, I believe. And, and God just wants to touch every one of you and help you through the circumstances and the atmosphere you're in. He wants to help you so that you can be a winner in it. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, 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 amen. I am looking at the profiles now. Smile, awesome, Julie, wonderful, laugh. Yeah, that's right. Come on, look at the proof profile pictures. Um, I love everybody here. That, you know, I love seeing pictures. That's who I am. For some reason, I'm not seeing, um, not seeing Helena. Do you not have a picture, Helena? Johanna, do you not have a picture? Sometimes it doesn't show up on your screen. I know, screen, but, but she does. does. On yeah, phone, on the phone, yeah. she does have one. But for some reason, I don't see it on the screen on some of them. You yeah. might have to change your picture once, then it will show up again. <laughs> because that's what um, Cliff did at one time, and it worked. Yeah. Yeah, Clay, whatever his name was, Clay. Clay. Yeah, he changed it, and then also now we had it again. So okay. I don't know. It's just some things are. <laughs> we need our. We are a new every day in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, Amen. that's it. Amen. Get it out there, Amen. guys. Share Hallelujah. the broadcast. Let's see the presence of God Hallelujah. rise up in here. You're <laughs> thinking, are still drunk from the whole <laughs> <laughs> resting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean those guys. Those guys go broadcasting like two, three, four hours, five hours. Yeah. I, you know, like that would take away everything that I do if I did that. So I do apologize if I'm not as long. Um, yeah. I stick with an hour to an hour and a half because I'm a pastor. I'm a father. I take care of people yeah. here yeah. and everywhere. So we we time like everything. Our yeah. ministry has always been about scheduling. And it has to be right. It has to be yeah. because we have so many things to do. So and we love doing this, but we have to yeah. have to have a schedule. That's why we're doing the DLC Global. So we, uh, I'm very excited to the first um, DLC Global um, Zoom will be um, introduction and maybe uh, vision casting a little bit. But um, we will start doing Bible studies and hopefully some courses and seminars on on Zoom with DLC Global. And so, yeah, you can donate towards it. You can um, be part of that journey and you can start giving towards it, like your own church if you want to. Yes. Um, if you want to cover, you, we can be your covering. If you just want to be part of it, like a bystander. That's fine too. It doesn't really matter, um, but we are there for you. That's what it's all about, and um, we want to be there for you. Just like I, I, I take it as any other church service, is because there's a lot of people that just come and visit and just really never get involved. That's fine, mm -hmm. and but at least they get the blessing of it, right? And so that's all awesome. And so that's really what that's going to be about. But anyway, it's so good. Amen. Um, Amen. Come on, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I had four sleep from staying up. So 5 a.m., my goodness. I had four hours sleep. How, how long were you up? Come on. Good morning. Colleen is here. Come on. Blessing to you. It is so good to have you all here. Amen. And God's going to move in tremendous ways. And we're going to see the presence of God released today. So I'm glad you all showed up today. Um, as you continue to share and like. There's only six likes on my video. What? I'm feeling offended right now. Mary, Mary. How do we do this? We like it ourselves. Make more <laughs> likes happen. Well, maybe I'll like it myself. All kind of likes happening. All kind of like. Let's like it because yeah. uh, I have like 25 people here and only seven likes. There's something wrong with that picture, man. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go like the video. Like somebody else's video. And you guys talking to each other. That's awesome. Yes. Tag somebody Amen. if you need to send in a private message because that's all good too. Yeah. So today is Psalms 24 out of the Passion Translation. Yeah. Psalms 24 out of the Passion Translation. That's it. Now I'm seeing those likes. My goodness, they're popping up now. <laughs> Thank you. Now I feel good. I don't feel offended no more. <laughs> oh, oh. Simple things. Then. I know. That's just my mind. I said, what? Nobody's liking me. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, now I feel better. Now you yeah. starting to like me now. Oh, I can preach now. Yes. <laughs> An encourager needs to be encouraged. Yeah, come on. Encourage me, guys. Say amen uh, to the likes. Yeah, that's good. good Thanks morning, for Brianna, Brianna and Colleen. Yeah, Hallelujah. Brianna shared and liked and shared. That's yes. it. Thank you. See, even you say and share, it's just like, oh, yeah, man. 
We got him. We got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. Hey, Brianna. It's good to have you here, guys. Yes, it's yes. so good. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, I was watching them. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Until 5 a.m. Been that since up. Yeah, come on. Husband at the time. Tuesdays, Fridays. Okay. Come on. Blessings. Amen. Bless you. We yeah. like you. I know you do. Yeah. But, you know, it just helps everything. And yeah. I'm thankful for you guys. And thank you that God is in it. So, yeah. So there's a like button, but there's also a love button. Mm. Do you love? No, just kidding. I won't call That's it. right. That's <laughs> right. There is a difference. <laughs> Let's see if I have how many love buttons I have. I have quite a few actually love buttons. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I can actually see who loves me and who oh, likes me. Dear. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, oh praise god yes. i'm just having fun with you guys come on amen hallelujah amen. Oh, got to go make uh, <laughs> oh, thank paul oh. <laughs> that's right i i know i'm just teasing you guys come on i uh, gotta go and some coffee now yeah yes. go ahead and make some coffee we're gonna start it's though we're gonna start right now oh i don't just like i love <laughs> Oh, man. See what I did? I persuaded them to love me. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Hey, guys. Let's go. Hey, Amy is here. Come on. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. Glad, glad you showed up today. Yes. So let's read Psalms 24. Yes. We're going to read the whole chapter. It's one to one, ten verses. Ten verses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so let's go into it. And today my title was this, is Lift Up Your Head. It's time to see, lift it up because yes. you have the ability. Yeah. You have the you have what it takes. You are created for a time like this. Amen. And so don't let nobody else lie to you in Jesus' name. There you go. You'll take your phone. <laughs> That's good. At least you won't miss up. <laughs> it says this in Psalm 24. It says this. And verse 1 says, God claims the world as his. Come on. You know, if you think about that, just think about that for a while. We're not of this world, but he still claims it. Yeah. It's just, just everything and everyone belongs to him. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at this, is that we need to reclaim God's kingdom on this earth. Mm -hmm. And we need to know that everything that is, everything we use was made out of his creation and, and was made and invented by people. But everything mm -hmm. they used was God's creation. Amen. The house came from the tree. God created the tree. Amen. So he says everything belongs to him. So we... He's given us, I love it. He's given us the ability to be creative. Yes. Oh, yes. He's given us the ability oh, to be maybe. creative, to use what's our hands. So I don't think, I don't think he wanted to give us a house. He wanted to give us a tree so that we'd be creative enough to build. Amen. 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 And so that's kind of exciting to me is that, you know, God is in it. Even this computer I'm using right now, like this stuff is made from Amen. the earth. Amen. It's Amen. made from the stuff of this earth. Yeah. And um, it's amazing yes. what, what we can all make of what God already had in existence. It is. It is. It is amazing, isn't it? Like he created it all. He planted the trees. He put the the ore and all the metals in the earth, you yeah. know. And then he gave humans the, the smarts to create yeah. too because we are made in his image, right? So we create things with his creation. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's a, I find it kind of cool, but we can misuse his creation. Yes. And so a lot of yeah. people are making things that are of evil because, yeah. and they're using, that's how evil is. It's a counterfeit. So they're always used of something yeah. that God created to, to, to hoodwink us into believing that it's God when it's not God, because he uses the materials or this world that God created. They use it for their glory instead yeah. of God's glory. Amen. Verse two says this, he's the one who pushed back oceans to let the dry land, dry ground up here, mm -hmm. planting firm foundations on this earth. Like just, you know, the, the Red Sea has been talked to a lot about yes, in, these, in the month of December. And still some people are talking about the Red Sea. But Jesus pushed the water. God pushed the water. And uh, he blew his wind and his air on there. And he dried the land so people Amen. could walk on it. Amen. This is the kind of God we serve. It's Amen. just uh, For me, it's just a good reminder today of who Jesus is and who God yeah. is in us. Yeah. He is the earth mover. Hey, he Bishop is. Grill is here. Come on, bless Bishop us. Gill, yeah. Come on, guys. Go follow this guy. Yeah. And you'll, you'll be blessed. And so, you know, this is what it is. He is such amazing. And he yeah. says he appears planting firm foundations on this earth. Mm -hmm. So he removes and he is that powerful and that creation. So even these platforms that we're on, this computer we're on, he's given us the ability to reach the world with the material that he already created. Yeah. 
and he made some smart some people and made people allowed to be in the place of creation and so yeah. And some of it's been misused, actually a lot of it. Yeah. But this is so good. So the thing is this, I feel God is making a path for you today. He is opening yeah. some waters and he's drying the land for you yeah. so you can walk peacefully in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. You know, the more narrow the path, the more safer you are. Hmm. The more, like you look yes. at that water party, there, there's more safety in a narrow path so that the enemy can't come from the sides or anywhere else so you know exactly where you're going yeah i guess less so if the, especially if the enemies are following you <laughs> yes <laughs> in jesus name. yeah Hallelujah. yeah Hallelujah. and yeah. so i think that's uh that's the way we, we need to go verse three says this who then ascends into the presence of the lord and who has the privilege of entering into god's holy place oh my mm. goodness hallelujah Hallelujah. Mm. It's like he's asking a question, but then he answers it in verse four. Those who are clean, whose works and ways are pure, whose hearts are true and sealed by the truth. Those who never deceive, whose words are sure. Yeah, come on. They will receive the Lord's blessing. So when I went to heaven, when I was in 2010, and I, I went to heaven since then many times, but in 2010, I went to heaven. And when I went there, is that God showed me it took the tabernacle situation, like the tabernacle. We had to come to the altar. We had to mm -hmm. purify ourselves. Yeah. And then we had to go to the, then we had to go into the, to the, the, first the outer courts. And then we had to go to the altar. Then we had to go to the brazen altar where the hands and wash our forgiveness. And then we had to go into the showroom. We had to go into the holy place mm -hmm. where the table was and the banqueting table was where the lampstand was. And we had to be in that place. Then we had to get to the holy place. And God showed me. Is exactly what he's saying here. God showed me that I had to purify myself to get into the most holy place. Mm -hmm. I had to get into that place yes. of removing self and moving my reasoning away mm -hmm. to get into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And that's yes. why fasting is good. Fasting takes the reasoning away so you can enter into the holy place. Yes. And so this is really what it is. It says, you know, well, you are clean. Those works yeah. always are pure. That's the way yeah. you get in there. Those, those hearts are that's true and sealed true. by the truth. And yeah. so to get there, God, and I have a course called the Tabernacle Seminar. And yes. uh, someday I'll do that on our D DCL, DLC Global, if anybody yes. wants to be part yes. of that. But it's, uh, it's I can teach you how to get into the holy place before yeah. you die. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those ways, is to, to purify yourself, to remove yes. the things that are interfering into your life. And so when I did that, it's amazing. I've been teaching many people how to get there mm -hmm. uh, since then. I've ta taught that seminar many times, and we have actually experienced people get into the heavenlies and get into the most holy place mm -hmm. and experience the peace of God, the light of God, mm -hmm. and the presence of God like they never had before. Amen. And so that's a, a powerful place to be. Amen. It's like you said, you know, you have to set yourself aside and walk, come through the blood. You know, we are the pure we are the pure that comes before the throne of God every day, every day we can do this every minute, you know, we can walk, we can be washed in the blood and then we're pure. We are the righteousness of God. We are the righteousness of God, meaning in right standing with God, not because something I did, but because what he did on the cross, because of the blood of Jesus, I let the blood of Jesus wash, wash my mind, wash my heart. I walk into forgiveness I let that wash me pure, pure. Like I can come before the throne of God right now yeah. because of the blood of Jesus. And here we are. He said, now those can come and I can come. I can come because I accept what Christ has done on the cross for me. Amen. Right? That's right. And that's how we come into the throne room of God. When we come to worship him, when we come to bless him, and receive from him we come through the blood come on through the blood we need to get there guys and i have like when i almost died with internal bleeding in 2010 um god showed me very clearly uh how because i before that i've been uh in front of deathbeds many times with other people mm -hmm. and I, I i have learned their experiences and so one thing i've learned through people going through their deathbeds is that when they are sick, it's like the, all physical reasoning goes away and spiritual yeah. and spiritual discernment comes in. Yeah. And so when people are Christians and when they're born again people, 
And even if they're not Christians, when they're dying, they will receive it because their reasoning came away. Yeah. Their human reasoning went out of the way. And I find it's easy to get people saved when they're on their deathbed because yeah. they see the truth easier because their reasoning, human reasoning is not there no more because their physical body is weak and mm -hmm. the spirit becomes stronger. And so when I looked at these people that were in deathbed, I had one bad experience in that and somebody deathbed. It was, I believe I felt in hell experience there. Like it was just terrible, terrible, that experience. Yeah. And then the, all the other people that I was beside their deathbeds, they were really great experiences and seeing them. And there's this one place I'm going to share a little bit because I feel God just wants to encourage you guys. There's power in his anointing. Yeah. I believe when somebody, a, a family wants to talk to somebody that's dying or in a coma, I believe I can, we can wake him up for a moment. And we did mm -hmm. that. I don't know if you remember that one. We went out there and they said, we could just need to close up our, our door. Can we just talk to her one more time? She's out and she won't wake up. And I've been there a couple of times and, 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 and I, I brought her to the heavenlies many times and we brought her to that peace of God and brought the family to it. But they wanted one more day with her. Mm -hmm. And so I went there and I prayed for her and I woke her up in the presence of God and she woke up and she went <gasps> and up she was. And I left instantly so the parents could go and visit them. Mm -hmm. And the testimony is phenomenal and amazing. Mm -hmm. and so what I have found out through my experience when I went to heaven and I still can go there. You can still go there. I can teach you how to get there because we are linked to the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven Amen. is at hand. And Amen. so when it's at hand, we should have the experience of it. And so we shouldn't have to wait. So when we went there, and what I have found is this, is that why wait till you're almost dead to experience the heavenlies? And that's Amen. why we created Amen. this course, this seminar, is that we need to learn to die to self so we can have the fullness experience of God. Amen. And that's really what it's about. And Amen. we got to stop claiming our identity without, uh, we, I, we can't have true identity if we truly don't give ourselves up. And so we, if our, we definitely Amen. have to do that. Amen. Amen. But it's a wonderful experience. And then um, we have seen many other, I can tell you testimonies upon testimonies of that alone, because of through that, I, I see many others come to the heavenlies. And, um, and so God has allowed us to direct people into that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, Marty. Yeah, Marty. I know Marty has been there too and teaches about it. Yes. Good morning. Yeah. So, yeah. but that's what I want to do, man. That's what we want to do. Hallelujah. Hey, Susan. It's good to have you here. Morning. Morning. Blessings to you. And so, verse five says this They received the Lord's blessing and righteousness given by the Savior God. Hallelujah. Savior God. Yeah. Goes like Jesus and God together there. Come yeah. on. <laughs> and <laughs> they will stand before God. For they seek the pleasure of God's face, the God of Jacob. Amen. Come on. Amen. So this is what it is. I love what verse That's 4 right. says. First, you get into the purity. Yeah. You, you clean yourself up. You get your heart right. You get it sealed with the truth of God. Yeah. And then you never, that way you can never get deceived. And those words become sure in you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you will go receive the blessing and his righteousness. Yeah. They will stand before God. That's what I'm doing right now. Standing before God. And yeah. I, I will seek the pleasure of God's faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I, the God of Jacob, you know, it's Hallelujah. the God that has never left us. The God that has never forsaked us. The God yes. that has been there ever since the beginning. Amen. I come Amen. to his face today. Amen. And I've been to his face. I'm, I can tell you about what the heavens Amen. look like. You read Revelations. It's very, Amen. very it's the same. Because that's that I can tell you that. It's just amazing what it is. And uh, when I've been there, God fought for me. God won for me. And that's what God wants to do for every one of you Amen. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And he does. You know, in the other uh, versions, it says pure hand, pure heart and clean hands. And that's what the works is. When we come and we ask God to forgive us, you know, the works are the hands, the hands that do God's work. They're pure when we pursue God, when we do God's work. Yeah. And that's why when we come in, we are pure pure heart and hands, the things that we do, the places where we walk, you know, if we walk in God and in God's direction and stay in his presence, mm. we do that Amen. which he calls us to do. Yeah, this is a powerful time. Um, but like I said, and we as Daily Life Church have been in revival ever since we existed. I believe we always have seen God yes. move. Amen. There's never, ever been Amen. a dry moment in our ministry. Amen. But I think that's because I'm a radical person, not willing to settle down. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> but I'm telling you, you're in the right place and the right platform Amen. if you want to see the heavenlies. I'm telling you. Yeah. We're going to get there. Yeah. We're going to get there. 
Yeah, yeah. I love this how verse 6 says, mm -hmm. for they seek the pleasure of God's face. Oh. You know, to come into God's throne room, you know, you have to use your imagination. Like we've said a lot of times, Pastor George te teaches on this many times. God has given us an imagination. Yeah, come on. You know, to, like we said at the beginning of this teaching even, to create things from what he has created right. for the earth. And now to also use our imagination when we come into prayer to come before his throne, to seek his face, you know, and, and we long to do this, our hearts and our spirits long to come into yeah. God's presence and God's face. And I think this leads up to verse seven it says, so wake up you living gateways. We are the living gateways. Come on. Lift up your heads, you ageless doors of come destiny. On. Welcome the King of glory. Oh, hallelujah, for he is about to come through you. Amen. Oh, that's like, like you said, this is last sermon. You know, it's two ways. We are in Christ and Christ is in us. Yeah. And we, we've been we've been a one way Christian for too long. Yeah. Because we really, really um, hand everything off to Jesus when Jesus says, I have given you authority. Mm -hmm. when, when somebody wants to thank you, no, thank Jesus. If somebody wants to. Um, healing, not well, if it's Jesus as well, Christians as well, He's Amen. given me authority to pray for people. Amen. Amen. Uh, our imagination is so important. It's because Amen. if you're not going to imagine on God, you're going to imagine about your turkey or something. That's right. Because <laughs> in services, That's right. like we do Sunday morning services, yeah. how many people are thinking about what they're cooking? I know. And like, I know. Your imagination is fulfilled, but if you yes. change your imagination and image the 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 recreation of your yes. health like yes like knowing that god prayed for you and if you have a yep. hurting lung that you just imagine him recreating yep. it like yep. wow there's power in that there is such power in it such power and even at home like when i'm when i'm praying at home and i'm trying to get into god's presence you know i have a hard time at home because you know that's my home it's like i see everything oh i should do that oh i should do that oh i should get supper ready oh i should you know you see all these things around you and and you start and and all of a sudden things pop in your head of course you know oh i need to go buy this oh you know i need to remember this for tomorrow your imagination is going crazy already yeah. but so i have to set my imagination okay father god i am coming into your presence father god i am in your throne room you know i start my imagination with okay here's this amazing throne room i'm sure i can't imagine what it exactly is oh it's just but then god helps me right i come into his presence and then i have an easier time coming into god's presence when i start out with okay god here i come i am stepping into this throne room you are in this throne room with me i come in with worship god you know i use words and i use my imagination yeah, come to, on. to enter in hey right? ryan come on Ooh, good, good friend of mine from winnipeg manitoba yes. bless Ooh, to see you right man of god yes He's oh. a fireball. He, he, he is a fireball. That's right. Come <laughs> on, guys. Go follow his oh, page. Um, awesome. It's uh, Trans Transformation Community Church yes, on yep. Facebook. Go follow mm -hmm. him and love on this guy, man. Amen. And so when I look at this, is this is that I think that we often um, we often feel that what like I have heard people say this. They say, I want to get to the heavenlies. I want to get to the holy of holiest. I want to now we're changing our subject here, but either way, we'll we'll uh -huh. get back into it. It's all part of it. It is. Yeah. It is. And, and and we get into this holy of holies, and we well, the first thing people question me, what if it's my imagination? What if it's just me? <laughs> I said, that's okay, because God loves your imagination. It's just like my wife and I, when she's not around me, I imagine about her. I imagine being with her. I imagine the next step I'm gonna take, the next talk I'm gonna have with her, mm -hmm. the next communication I'm gonna have. Doesn't make it wrong, it just yeah. makes it more beautiful. Yes. And so we have to change our religious thinking. Yeah. And stop blaming our imagination and stopping us from getting into the holy holiest. And it's okay if it's your imagination. But it's to have control of it, right? right? The word does say, take captive yeah. those thoughts that are not of God. The imagination needs to be in Christ Jesus. Guys. Yes. It can't be out of, out of, I'm not talking about witchcraft. I'm not talking about anything. Yeah. I'm talking about focusing. I'm talking about renewing your mind daily like Paul yeah. talks about. That's what we're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Verse 7 says, so wake up. You live in gateways, lift your hands. That's it. It's time to lift our heads, Amen. guys. It is Amen. time to lift our heads. Yes. It says, you know what, guys? Wake up. Wake up. Amen. You gateways. We are gateways. We are portals of the heaven right now Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. We are we are portals of heaven. We are that gateway to the heaven for someone in your life. Amen. For your family member, you might be the gateway. It's time to yes. lift your heads up. Hallelujah. You living. We are living gateways for Jesus. 
Jesus yes. is within us and we are yes. within him. We are Hallelujah. gateways to the heaven. We have the Holy oh. Spirit. We are gateways to the heavenlies. We are the gateways to the presence of God. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have that gateway. We Amen. are we are we are connected to the Trinity power yes. where Jesus is in the right hand of the Father and the Holy Spirit is within us. We are that gateway to the kingdom blessing. Amen. And then we're the gateway to that's this right. world. Because look at what it says in there. For he is about to come through you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It says, we are the, the living gateways. Lift up your heads. You ageless doors of destiny. Yes. You are doors of destiny, guys. Amen, amen. You are doors of destiny yes. in Jesus' mighty name. So get ready, guys. Get ready, guys. Get ready, guys. <laughs> because God is going to do welcome the king of glory, for he is about to come through you. Yeah, come that's on. That's neat. I love it. The way He's coming that. through you. That's the way Passion Translation is saying yes. he is about to yes. come through you. And I think this is the day of the glory of God to put your heads up and say, and become and allow yourself to be a gateway. Let Amen. the presence of God come Amen. this way and through you Amen. to the others. It says in verse 8, Amen. you ask, who is the king? Who's the glory king? It's the Lord armed and ready for battle. The mighty one, invincible, invincible in every way. Hallelujah. This is. This is the king of glory we're talking Amen. about. The Amen. king of glory that we so desperately need at this Amen. moment, at this Amen. time. Amen. We so desperately need to win our battles. Yes. So we do, he's ready for battle. Yes. We just need to become the gateway. We need to become Amen. the obedient one and say, Lord, use me. And when he uses you, you become the vessel. And when you become the vessel, there's Hallelujah. a gateway to heavens for the other people. There's a, the gateway to, for the kingdom of God at hand for other people. Amen. And you can actually flow through this and see that he's a mighty one. He's, he's an invincible. 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 He's unmovable. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. So wake up, church. Wake up, church. You are hallelujah. 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 Amen. We Amen. are. We are going to be the ones. That's right. God chose you that Jesus might reveal through you the nations. That's Amen. right. Amen. So true. Yes, get ready, yes, get yes, ready, yes. get ready, church. Yes. Get ready. First of all, there was a place of getting becoming pure. You have to remember the order of the scripture. Amen. Don't get so excited about the last scripture if you didn't do the first scripture. <laughs> don't, if you don't live in context, you can't yeah. have the context of the blessing. That's you, right. you gotta you gotta come to the tabernacle. You gotta come to the outer courts, you gotta come to the altar. And yeah. Jesus already died for you. So you have to represent the blood of Jesus. Yes. And when you represent yes. the blood of Jesus, oh. God sees you through the blood of Jesus. So and when God looks through the blood of Hallelujah. Jesus, he sees purity. Amen. He sees fulfillment. He sees purpose and he sees destiny. But you have to come to the altar. You have to purify yourself and say, here I am, God. Amen. So wake Amen. up. Verse 9 says, so wake up, you living gateways, and rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Fl uh, fling wide. <laughs> ageless doors of destiny. <laughs> yeah, fling wide, you ageless doors of destiny. <laughs> I love it. Here he comes, the king of glory, and is ready to come in. I, I love this. It's like if we would just do this, if, if we would just Amen. wake up, Amen. and we would become the living gateways. And we would just rejoice and watch as he says, fling wide. Now the doors yes. open. Now yes. the heavenly doors are opening Amen. through you so people can experience the heavenlies. And they can experience the blood of Jesus. They can experience the forgiveness. They can experience the healing. They can experience Amen. the fulfillment Amen. of God. And he says, here comes the king of glory. How does he come? It's by you flinging the doors open. <laughs> saying, God, here I am. Amen. Here Amen. I am. Here I am. In Jesus' Amen. name. I love Amen. how the Passion Translation talks about it. And it Amen. says, the king of glory is ready to come in. Just like we've been saying, we and him and he and us. Yes. And it just yes. keeps flowing. It becomes a Amen. cycle of blessing. It becomes a cycle of salvation. And we keep flowing in it. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's Amen. right. Fling wide. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my Amen. goodness. Hallelujah. Yes. And he repeats himself in this psalm. And I think when mm. God repeats himself, he really wants to put across a point. You know, he says again in verse 10, you ask, who is this king of glory? You know, he's like, he is the Lord of victory, armed and ready for battle, the mighty one, the invincible commander of heaven's hosts. Yes, he is the king of glory. You know, it's like he is ready for battle and yet he is invincible. He is he is the winner. He is the Lord of victory. That's when we have to know, you know, okay, God is fighting for us. And we come in with worship and praise. And we know we are on God's side, the invincible king. 
it's like wrapping your mind around that is so awesome right yeah come on it's so awesome we are fighting from a place of victory we are worshiping from a place of victory you know if we don't see it come to pass the way we wanted it we have to still know god is in control god is the victor he is always victorious right he knows better he knows the end from the beginning we can't always see past this right here but he sees the end from the beginning and he knows and we have to trust him because you know he is the god of victory the invincible invincible amen invincible we serve the invincible yeah. god <laughs> it's amazing how we are designed to live in that power yes yes and the only yes. way it's like we have oh. to become new vessels we got to become vessels with new wine yes we are but we are designed if we if we if we, like earlier in the scriptures if we give up our pride we give up our our impurities we give up yes. all those things it's amazing god will just come in and he will start opening doors through you yeah and you become a gateway from to the heavenlies a gateway to his promises the gateway to somebody else's victory yeah it's gonna be awesome hallelujah Amen. Amen. in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah Amen. so we need to walk in but you know just when i look at it, he's repeating himself who yeah. is that i think that's what we do we constantly repeat ourselves god where are you <laughs> god where is that king that we're talking about where or somebody else says where is that god you're talking about yeah. during this time yeah where is that victory where is that victory <laughs> where is that we keep asking that over and over again as well Amen. but i think if we come into line with the word of god and and we we know that a battle is to be won it's not won instantly yeah. the battle is we won we we fight earthly battles with a victory battle it means that jesus already equipped us with victory he already yeah. equipped us with it not that yes. it's, it's it's not done until yes. it's done yeah. it's not you the thing is people says well jesus finished it he did finish it for you he finished the word of god for you he finished yeah. this so you knew how to do it how to become victorious he finished it absolutely oh, yeah. he finished a map for you that's what the work he when he said it, it's finished it's Amen. finished it is a way out of your problems it's Amen. finished he, it, it's a way to live in victory it is finished is a Amen. way that you can come to the altar that's what's finished your blood Amen. is shed so that we can truly come to the altar that's what finished Amen. it's only finished when you respond to the finished work Amen. it cannot be finished until you respond to the finished work that's right that's you right. gotta respond to the finished work and that's when yeah. it's finished see the thing is it's finished like he he made it he, he finished something which is the word of god he made it living for us so that yes. we can choose our path that he chose for us and so we can be successful on our path yes. but if we made that decision to get off his path we're not living in the finished work no more so we yes. got to live in the finished work Amen. just and we got to bring purity to our hearts to be in it and that's what it is god didn't say perfect hearts right. he just said a pure heart yeah like sometimes we think we have to be perfect oh hallelujah oh hallelujah. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. So, hallelujah. Or <laughs> drink the Holy Spirit. That's right. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Both God and victory and faith, obedience. That's right. Come on. There has to be that. Amen. You can't be in a finished work without obedience because yes. it's just like me climbing to my car and choosing to go the opposite direction I'm supposed to go. I'm not going to get to the destination. <laughs> I have to yeah. choose the destination that is designed for me. Amen. And that's where my finished work is. That's right. And that's the word of God, yeah. guys. That's the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, God is only in control as yes. much as you allow him to be. We still have free will. Amen. I, I'm, I don't believe in faith. I don't. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. If that's going to bug somebody, that's okay. <laughs> I don't believe in faith. I believe in faith. God's yes. given us a free yes. choice. Yes. Yes. He's, he, he designed a perfect path for me. He's created me for Amen. a perfect cause. He's created me for a time like this. But if I choose not to walk in the creation that he's created for me, well, I'm not going to get the blessing of it. Amen. And it's not like, oh, God, Amen. no. Amen. You have to choose your path today. You do. You do. Choose your path today. Yeah, and obedience is such a big part, right? Such I'm, a big I'm, part. I'm gonna myth bust one more thing again. I like to myth bust things. Yes. So stop saying, not stop saying, but and we know God's in control, but only if we let Him be in control. Yeah. So if you, if you think God knows your outcome, He only knows your outcome if you choose the outcome that He chose for you. If you choose mm -hmm. the opposite outcome, you have a free will to leave His outcome. Yeah. You have the free will to do that. That's like once saved, always saved thing. You, you you can choose to get a divorce from God. Just that that's biblical. People say, yeah. well, once you're saved, you're always saved. Well, you might be as long as you stay saved. Amen. 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 And I'm saved. I believe I'm always be saved. Yes. But just like I've been married before and I've been divorced before, I had a choice either to live with something or not to live with something. And so God will never divorce you. He doesn't believe in that. But people do. Yeah. 
people do the do a, a divorce. And so I, I I know that we made step, but study the word of God, study the scriptures, find the truth. Don't what I'm saying, look yeah. it up and research it. And I often do that with people. So I'm like, hey, Jack, it's good to see you here. Blessings. Yeah. I saw you before. I just forgot to pop your name up. Blessings. Yeah. Stay in salvation. You got to stay That's in right. your wholeness. That's I believe right. you got to stay in it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing is, relationship is a choice. Yeah. And as soon as it doesn't become a choice, it's not a relationship no That's more. That's right. That's right. God has given us free will. And if it wasn't our free will to walk away, then we wouldn't have a free will like God said he gave us. Yeah. Free will to obey, free will to serve him, free will to seek his face or not to seek him. Yeah. And to do. That's right. Can we need that other thing? Hey, Jasmine, it's good to see you. Hey, good morning. And so, good afternoon to you. Yeah. But anyway, and, and I, I'm a person that doesn't argue about that too much, but I know yeah. that this is if I can equip you, <laughs> and then you're going to have the fulfillment of it. I think yeah. we come to the point of, I, like, I come from a man that culture, guys. And the Mennonite culture is this way. It's a one-way relationship. The husband has all control. <laughs> and most and, and the deep Mennonite that I come from. Yeah. They have control. And when you ever walk along, uh, you see uh, Mennonites walking in my culture, not everybody's Mennonite culture, but my culture, Mennonite, which is a very deep Mennonite culture that I come from. You see women and children, the wife back there with all the small kids and the, and the husband all alone as an authority, as a dictator. And you see that. Now, how many would want to stay in that kind of relationship? Well, and once you say once saved, always saved, that's the kind of relationship you're living. You're living in a relationship where you don't give. You got to have a two. It goes two ways. That's my message. It takes two. It takes two. And so I want to encourage you guys to not let those confessions hold you back from the intimacy of God. Don't have such a place in your heart and say, well, I don't really need it because I'm already done for. I'm already, you know, I already got my hell insurance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but no. but relationship is meant to be intimate. Yeah. It's meant to go deep. It's meant, we're, we're meant to be the gateways of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're meant to be one with him so we can have that oneness Amen. in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a love relationship. Just like when you find someone. I was just thinking of that this morning, too. When you're young and in love, you're like Twitter pated and it's like, oh, he can do nothing wrong. And all you think about is how in, how in love you are. And, you know, and and everything else seems to fade away. Oh, I don't have any troubles. I'm in love. You know, we need <laughs> we need to have this relationship with God to know God is all consuming. You know, if I didn't have a feeling and know God's love, you know, this relationship wouldn't be there, right? What kind of relationship would I have with God if I didn't feel his love? Yeah. Just like my husband, what kind of relationship? And just like he was talking about before, that Mennonite relationship, some of it is just not right. You know, it's it's a boss and a servant. That's right. You know, there's not love there. There could be respect. There can be honor. But once you have that <laughs> Twitter painted love, you know, and you feel God's love and you hunger to be in his presence and you hunger to come and worship him, you know, then, you know, you have relationship. And, and if you've lost that, then come back, <laughs> you know, get into God's presence and say, God, I need to feel, I need to feel your love in my heart. I need to feel that. Give me a hunger, God, to get back. Give me a hunger to, to fall in love with you again. I don't know if I believe in falling in love. Love grows. Love, you know, you. Well, you didn't fall in love. No, I grew into love with you. <laughs> you know, I. Uh, it's. I, I thank God for the beginning glue we have. Yes, there is a beginning glue that Twitter painted glue. Yeah. But then it needs to come into stronger relationship. Yeah, if you, if you rely on that pitter tater, like you call it, that, <laughs> that glue, if you rely on that beginning glue. You'll never last your marriage. Yeah, that's right. So when we get born again, we often, woo, hallelujah, I get yep. saved. But if you don't work that relationship, that glue yeah. starts separating and starts separating. You start separating from the love of God more and more because yeah. God gives us that glue to give us a head start. Yeah, yeah. He gives us that moment, uh, that experience, that phenomenal experience that cannot be denied. That's right. That's right. Like we have that experience with Jesus that cannot be denied. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then... He relies on relationship. That's right. Then he relies. It, it grows. It gets a foundation. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, come on. No, but that's how it is, guys. 
but yours, it's your choice. It's your choice. Yeah, it's your choice, guys. It's a, it's a place so that we got to do Twitter pay to fill up. We're not talking about Twitter platform, I don't think. I think that came from Bambi. Oh. That Twitter pay to Lord. <laughs> yeah, some people fall in love accidentally. You're right. <laughs> like what? Like I fell in love because I looked at Mary and said, yeah, she's the right one. She, I could utilize that. <laughs> and, and I think she could, and I think she could have me. I think we could make it work. Um, but I think when we, when we come in the beginning, even in salvation, when I remember being born again, yeah, it was that that glue that kept me there. Yeah. But then, then it was experience after experience after experience that yeah. kept me there. It's yeah. a it's a revelation after revelation. Yeah. Relationship after relationship, communication after communication yeah. with God. That's what kept me there. And yeah. today still keeps me there. When God speaks to me and yeah. loves me and holds me, and I I, I hold them back. Actually, guys, yeah. like you gotta embrace back. And so I find that's a yeah. powerful way. That's the king we're talking about. The king that wants to open the gates for you so that you can be a blessing to others in Jesus name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Looked into Mary's Bambi eyes and fell. Oh, that's right. That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Mary and I both been through, I mean, someday we should maybe sit here and talk about our, our testimony. Yeah. We've been both been through previous relationships. And when we came into this relationship, we're going to say we, we, we we literally made a choice that everything we ever been through would not be part of our life. Yeah. We made a choice saying that, and we put pastors in our place. We put spiritual fathers and mothers in our place. And we said, when we were dating, we said, please interrupt our life. If it didn't look good, that's how serious we were about yes. making this work. Yeah. And, and, and it did work. Yeah. It did work. She's still here. <laughs> and, uh, and she's yeah. still going for a wild rides with me. Yeah. And, um, but the fact is this, is that we took every protocol, so that we made sure this relationship would, would be a relationship that would work Amen. because we've been through stuff and we helped help many people through marriage issues and yeah. help many people come through many things because of what me and her have gone through yeah. and and because of what we are through now. And, yeah. um, and my, my wife and I, uh, Mary and I have not ever gone to bed angry since mm -hmm. we've been married. Mm -hmm. We've maybe been disappointed, but you know what? God, God has been good because we chose relationship over anything else. So that's how it goes, yeah. guys. Yeah. And we submitted. I, I'm just going to put this out there. You know, we were, you know, it does start with that Twitter pated love. And sometimes when you're in that, you can't see the forest for the trees because all you can see in front of you, you know, you're, you're blinders on, you know, because you're so in love. And that's why from previous relationships, we had understanding and we went to our spiritual father and mother and we said, you know, if there's something wrong with this relationship or if you see that this relationship is not of God, please speak into our lives. Please tell us because when you're in, in this, you know, and we've seen it with our daughter, too, and we've spoken into her life and she submitted, you know, you know, thoughts and things to us, too. And we were able to communicate and we did that with our pastors when we were dating. You know, we were not teenagers anymore we were not young when we got together so but still but still you can be blinded you absolutely love you know, blinds no matter what when you're when you're so in love you know the first while when it's <laughs> that twitter pated love yeah but you know we submitted our relationship to the pastors we yeah. said we want god's will we want god's purpose and and they didn't just come to us when they thought it wasn't right they, like we also opened our doors saying if we need correction yeah like, like lord we want to before we get married we want to know that we are in the right standing and we are corrected enough that we know what yeah. to do. Right. Yeah. And we wanted everything from the past relationships cut off. Yeah. Right. So we dealt with everything, you know, through this, through our pastors, because they knew how to pray for us and how to cut those things off because we wanted a fresh start and we wanted God's purpose. Yeah. Come on. So I think that's how often it is. We often get into this relationship with Jesus. And we we come into the place, and it's that that falling in love in the beginning with Jesus, and often we come to the point where we start blaming God, just like we blame our relationships, mm -hmm. and we start blaming God for our problems, just like we would do in a relationship because we don't know yeah. how to have relationship. Yeah. And so we start blaming that. Why did God do this? Why did God do that? God yeah. is not that loving after all. Uh, uh, and uh -huh. and so when we get born again, we get into this place and. And we start blaming God because we don't really know the true relationship because we never had a true relationship and we never had somebody to come and father us or mother us into yeah. it. 
And, yeah. and so a lot of people are out there all alone range of yeah. Christians and wondering why it's not working. Yeah. And God, right. God, so that we often get into that place. And, but when I, if I wouldn't, if I would not have been in a relationship with Mary, I could blame Mary on everything because, because there would be no communication. Yeah. There would be no relation, there'd be no intimacy. So mm -hmm. it would become a lack. And when yeah. there becomes a lack, you start blaming and yeah. you, and you don't understand the lack. So you start blaming the other person for the lack. And that's the same thing that's happening between us and God right now. Not to a lot of people, to a lot Amen. of people. Amen. Amen. And I, I keep thinking of this song. There's a song that says, God has never failed me yet. And I love that song. But, you know, a lot of times when I sing that, it pops in my head. It's like, oh, I have had failures. But they've been my choices. They've been where I've made wrong choices or done things or things have come against me in the natural. And I have walked that way. But God has never failed That's me right. yet. You know, God, just like in the scripture we read today, God <laughs> is the victorious God. God is invincible. He comes for battle and he comes in knowing that he will have the victory. And we know that he will have the victory in our lives when we are walking in submission to him and we in obedience to him. Then, then we will not fail. Right? Yeah, that's right. Come on. That's so true. Communication, intimacy, trust, loyalty. That's so it. much there. That is, and relationship is a learning pattern, right? It is. And um, it is. if you is. if you're not born again, you need to be born again. And if you've been falling back and you have not got intimacy, to see God, you need to get back into it. Amen. You need Amen. to say, God, forgive me, and and you got to forgive yourself from blaming Him. You always blame the other side before yourself. <laughs> yep. I mean, Mary forgive does that yourself. to me sometimes. I forgive myself. <laughs> that's right. And I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and so we go in that place. Um, so anyway, that's been a good time. Hey, Amen. what a good discussion. I enjoyed yes, it. Anyway. It's good. It's good. Thanks and we need to talk about those kind of things. Amen. Grace helps us. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. And see, so sometimes you have to understand the very graces you have as your partner or your, your body of Christ. Like Mary yeah. becomes my grace Amen. because she graces me like God would grace me. Amen. And so uh, and we've, we've so learned that we need the body of Christ, right? We need fathers and mothers. We need people praying into our lives and helping us through those things and helping us you know we need the body of christ yeah. laughing we need together fathers so and mothers and brothers and sisters every day you know it's not just for a season we need the body of christ yeah we need to be in the body of christ that's right you gotta say sorry a lot of times you gotta become a canadian when you're married <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness but you know yes. it's been it's been good um Life has been in that sense of it. And Keeping so, it real. Yeah. That's right. Keep it real. And laughing is together. Mary and I have no problem laughing together. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mary has this unique laugh. Also, she starts laughing. And it makes everybody else laugh. It's just like, yeah. how did you get a joke out of that? But now, <laughs> now it's a joke because she's laughing. And so it's, it's really cool. We have a really cool atmosphere in our home. We always have fun yeah. in that. And so, anyway, again, like I said, before we go, I want to announce our DLC Global yeah. is launching. February 1st, if anybody's interested, um, go to DLC Global Family Group page. Again, it is just simply for us to connect with you. It's not to share a bunch of other videos on and that your sermons on there, your big comments on there. It's just simply for a connection point. Yeah. And for us to bring our stuff on there so you can stay connected. That's Amen. what it's for. And there's many other pages, groups you can share on with your own spontaneous stuff. That's fine. But this one is really, we don't want to clutter because we want to stay connected in it. Yeah. And so that's uh, that's that one. And um, just so you know, there's a couple things we want to do with that. We want to launch the, so that Zoom call on the 1st of February um, is uh, going to be 12 o'clock noon. It's going to be uh, uh, a vision casting kind of idea. We're also opening another platform called the Remnant Leaders Platform. So if you're a leader and you want to be part of that, let me know. Um, if you're a leader of some sort, a fivefold. Mm -hmm. Let me know, and then I'll add you on that. We have also have a connection point that we're creating that's also launched in February. But so there's a couple of things we want to do with DLC Global. We're going to do we want to do courses. We want to do Bible studies. So I said Zoom Zoom Bible study it won't be live. We will do just intimate stuff happening. We're going to do courses and seminars. One of the seminar we have is uh, our DNA seminar. Uh, we have yeah. a DNA seminar. Then we have the spiritual DNA yeah. seminar. They are so and good. They're so good. We teach you who you are in Christ, and you. Yeah. You become strong because you become stronger knowing your character. When you know your character, you rise up more. And then once you know that, your DNA in Christ, then we teach your spiritual DNA, which means your spiritual giftings. And we teach you how to operate through your character. And we teach you how to flow strong fully so that you cannot be moved in the presence of God or in the presence of enemy. 
And so we can see that. Then we teach you how to give and receive where you see results. We actually show you how to experience the presence of God. We show you how to give the gifts that you have instead of just praying about it. But we teach you how to release it. And we also teach you how to receive it. And then we teach you how to work together as a whole because every DNA needs to work together. Every spiritual gift needs to work together. So that's one seminar we do. That's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's central time. Uh, it's 12 noon central time. Yeah. That's on February 1st. And Amen. so then we're going to, we have also have a course called Detoxing of a Soul. So if you ever want to know how to help somebody that's oh. in a detox relationship or uh, dealing with the past and you don't yeah. know how to deal with it and they don't know how to deal with it, we teach you how to release that detox and yeah. we can teach you how to deal with all those issues of life and we teach yeah. you how to help others. Amen. And then we have the marriage seminar. And then we all, which is not just marriage, it's relationship seminar. Yeah. So uh, you, even if you're single, you can be part of yeah. that. It'll teach you how to be in a relationship. Yeah. Then we have the tabernacle seminar. Then we have the dream and vision course. So we have so many things yeah, we, we can do. do as DLC Global. It's going to mm -hmm. take us a whole year just to do all that and more. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of things we have offer. So if you want to be part of DLC Global, then through DLC Global, what we want to do is we want to teach you how to start your home group and do watch parties through DLC Global. To do watch parties, meaning that you create home groups. And the whole idea of DLC Global is so that you get together with people, mm -hmm. not just behind screens, but you actually get physically together with Amen. people and not forsake the gathering. That's the whole idea of it. Amen. And so all over the world, we want to see our church join together and become one unity and globally to see Amen. the presence of God move in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So that's awesome. So if you want to be in, just go... And um, if you can't get onto the DLC Global Family Group page, then just message the Daily Life Church Messenger. Then Mary and I will add you on there. And so if you're not on there, hallelujah. hallelujah. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> that's the name of it. It's DLC Global. stands for Daily Life Church Global, but DLC Global. If Mary can okay. type that in there. And uh, DLC Global Church Group. Um, let me see if I can go ahead and type that in there. A Global Family Group. That's what it is called. And we want to invite you to become part of a church if you're not part of one. And if you are part of a church, you can be like a visitor and you can be part of it as much as you like in Jesus' name. So we're excited about it. It's going to be awesome. And um, so that's going to happen. There's going to be so much happening there. Anybody, you can be from anywhere that if you want to be part of that. You can be from Canada. You can be in the same town as us. You can be anywhere in yep. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's called, yeah, DLC Global Family. That's what the group is called. We call it DLC Global, but the word family is behind it because it's all about family in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, <laughs> you want to be partake of the, the yeah. There's only kind of seminars. I yes. think I think we'll start with DNA, maybe. Well, ever we'll figure that out. Um, and it's all free. The only thing we do is that you would be part of the journey and donate like you would to a church or offerings when you can do offerings and stuff like that. Amen. That's all we would ask. We would just ask you to do free will offerings. And so, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We got to go. Oh, we do got to go. It's we 10 o'clock. Blessings to you. So we kind of do. I'm excited about it. If yeah. you're a leader, we're doing a remnant leadership, a leader network. If you're a leader, contact me. Mm -hmm. Blessings to you guys. We got to go. There's a place of discipleship that wants to get on. Amen. Love you guys. <laughs> love you. Love God. Love people. Do, do it, it again. again. <laughs> you beat me to it. Finally. Bye for now.